Oh, wow. This GitHub repo is really cool. I wish there was like a really easy way that I could deploy this and see it live on a website. Yeah, there is. What? Really? Yeah, there's this brand new Chrome extension where you can deploy to Vercel in just seconds. Let's check it out. What's up, everyone? My name is James Q. Quick, and I do weekly videos about web development related topics. And in this video, I want to talk about a brand new Chrome extension that will help you deploy your websites or your projects to Vercel to be hosted as a website with just the click of a button. Now, this extension was created by Hassan, who's a developer advocate at Vercel, and I wanted to help bring some exposure to this tool, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, so I'll have a link to uh, this extension in the description below so you can make sure to go and check it out and do this yourself. Uh, but it's a pretty simple thing. So you go ahead and add this uh, to Chrome. You can see I've got this button up here. It's kind of tiny, so I'll zoom in so you can see it. And this is the deploy to Vercel button. So what do you do? Well, you find a repository that you want to actually deploy and then you click that button and it gets deployed. It couldn't be any simpler. Uh, so I actually posted a tweet asking the community for sample projects that I could use in this demo. And I got a bunch of different good ones. I'll have a link to this tweet as well. So you can check that out. And then um, I decided to go with the social carding one from B Dougie. Now B Dougie is uh, pretty awesome on Twitter. I'll put a link to his uh, stuff in here as well. Uh, B Dougie. So I'll put a link to his Twitter as well. His stuff is really great, but let's go ahead and see how this actually works. So the social carding uh, one, this is where you can pass in a URL and it'll show you what the social cards will look like. Actually a pretty handy tool. So uh, we have the repository. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just click this button and we'll be off and running. So this is gonna redirect us to Vercel. Uh, it's saying that it's going to create uh, a fork of that repository under my name. So we'll call this uh, social card test. We'll go ahead and create this. Uh, Vercel is now uh, smart enough to figure out how to deploy it. It'll know what build command to run, where the source directory is, that sort of stuff. Pretty standard stuff. So it's going to immediately kick off uh, this build and it's going to run the build and uh, then it will be live for us to see. So I'll pause for the handful of seconds. You'll see the number when it comes back uh, for this to run the actual build and we'll go and see it live. Okay, that actually just wrapped up. It's now going to show us a preview of the website here. We can go to the dashboard for this project inside of Vercel. From there, we can go to visit and we have a live domain, social-card-test.vercel.app. And then uh, what this is gonna do is you can put in a website, a CZ website, did y'all see that little trick? So I have snippets on uh, all my computer for different links and stuff. That's really cool. If you wanna know how I do that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but I can go and preview this. So let's just preview what my card looks like. It actually doesn't look great, spoiler. And I'm not sure if that's my fault or not because um, this SKU image looks like it's too big. I don't know if that's something on my site or if it's just the way it's rendering here. Uh, then you can download this thing too. So after I download this, it's gonna show me the icon, which is 144 by 144. I feel like that's, I don't know. If you know the exact size those should be, let me know in the comments below as well. So uh, once you find a repository on uh, GitHub that you like, you install the extension and now you're one click away with the Vercel Deploy Chrome extension to deploy that thing to Vercel and you've got it up and running and live on your site. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you have any projects that are configured to work with a database or something like that that need environment variables, you'll need to update the environment variables yourself. So to do that, you can go into your Vercel uh, deployment here, you can go into settings, into environment variables and add all those environment variables and then trigger a rebuild. So if you have to do environment variables, take care of those, then you'll be up and running. Anyway, super, super easy, probably the easiest way I've seen to deploy to Vercel. So let me know what you think. Go ahead and try it out. If you have any additions or feature requests that you'd like to see us on add to the extension, let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're enjoying Vercel and modern web development. I don't know. And I'll catch you in the next video.